Hello, this is Steve Sessions, CEO of the Sessions Group. We're here at World Headquarters, and this is the second video uh, that uh, we're, we're visiting with uh, Jerome Self with SBSA. And again, SBSA is a great firm. They're an engineering company that uh, focuses on forensic, structural, and rehabilitation. And so, uh, so Jerome, let's get right after it, okay? And so, why should uh, why should a, a, an HOA uh, board and a property manager, why should they hire SBSA, you know, to, to do these type of reserve studies? Or firms like yours? Well, that's a great question, Steve. And I, I would say the, the simple answer uh, would be experience. Um, one of the things that you are able to obtain when you hire SBSA for a reserve study is you're getting the collective experience of the firm. It's not only the reserve provider uh, who is out on site, um, and looking at the components and then putting the report and evaluation together. But uh, there have been several times when I've been on site and I've seen um, a component or some element that seemed like it was out of place, it wasn't right, something was amiss. <laughs> and so uh, one of the advantages that I had was as simple as taking a picture of the component with my phone, I could send it back to the office um, and have one of the uh, engineers uh, on staff take a look at it and say, you know, hey, here's what you're looking at and here's where we need to look further. And uh, so it gives a great advantage, I think, to us by having that experience on site. And also when we're uh, preparing the report, um, what we're able to do is bring a different approach to it. We're not just plugging, you know, numbers into a computer software program and spitting them out. We're doing real analysis. Um, and we're, we take a feasibility approach, for example, for a community that is an older community that has a number of needs, but they may not have enough funds to address all those needs. And so our experience with a feasibility approach can say, okay, here's what's important. We can address those first and then address the, the more minor components later and, and prioritize them and giving the uh, associations an advantage that way. Good. So, so is there anything else that, uh, that uh, we should be aware of on this video? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I think the process for us, um, just to kind of go over it in general, what we do is uh, we typically will start out with um, a question and answer session with the property manager, getting an idea about the property, um, getting the core information that we need in order to know what we're looking at. Uh, we'll pull uh, aerial uh, photography and, and uh, programs in on that to give us the lay of the land. Uh, we'll also obviously um, go on site to the property. We walk the site. We get our eyes on the components uh, so we can give an honest you know, analysis of the condition of those properties uh, and, and those components. And then what we'll do is we're evaluating each of those components based on their age and then the effective useful life of those components. Um, and I think that's critical. So those are the things that um, we bring to the table as far as our approach to reserve studies. So the last question I have is, is if, if, a, if a homeowner uh, association or managers don't you know, implement these reserve studies and, and hire a firm like SBSA, is there any risk? There is. Um, obviously, it's more focused towards the major components, but when you see deferred maintenance on these major components, it doesn't take very long to see something as simple as, as wood siding begin to deteriorate and um, you know contamination taking place behind uh, the siding. Uh, roof is a big issue. Um, if the roof's not addressed, we see leaking, we see all kinds of moisture intrusion and water damage. Um, or sometimes it's just aesthetic needs. Um, the property's not maintained, it's not well painted, the grounds aren't maintained. And so you know we've had more and more uh, real estate professionals that have contacted us and asked for um, a recent reserve study uh, to look at in order to gauge a particular community for a prospective buyer. If a reserve study isn't performed, um, especially recently, and if it's not performed well, uh, oftentimes they'll steer their potential buyer away from buying a property in that community. So I think it's critical for homeowners. Excellent, excellent. Well, let me just close this with uh, some of my insights. Uh, things that go wrong are predictable, and if they're predictable, they're preventable. That's the key of a reserve study. And it is so critical to have the right reserve study because I will tell you, we're dealing with other people's money here, okay? And so we've got to have the right people doing the investigation and the studies and I really believe it's you guys, 
okay, so that we can present this to the board and to the members, and they can then go, yep, we like this and it's approved and you move forward with it. So these buildings are going to need uh, continual maintenance, and so you've got to have a critical reserve study. So, Jerome, thank you so much. Uh, great insights that you shared with us. Again, uh, Steve Sessions, CEO of the Session Group, and uh, stay tuned for Liberty Lewis. She's great on forensic engineering. Talk to you soon.